JavaScript.com will put beginner coders on the fast path to greatness and find out how to tune your guitar using nothing but your web browser. I'm Rob Dotson. This is Lazy Web. Not exactly sure what JavaScript is? JavaScript.com is a free resource created by the Code School team to help new developers learn the language quickly. The interactive tutorial teaches simple JavaScript commands, and the resource section links to additional free learning material. The site also features a community section where users can submit stories or subscribe to the weekly newsletter. Progressive apps may be the next evolution of the mobile web. In this post, Alex Russell coins the term and explains that progressive apps are web apps that begin life in a tab, and if the user engages with them frequently enough, the browser then asks the user if they would like to install them to their home screen. The new model is built on primitives like Service Worker and Web App Manifest, and isn't so much a revolution as it is an evolution enabled by these new tools. You can grab a link to the full article down in the description. Find the dominant colors from a photo and use them to theme your application. Vibrant.js is a port of Android's palette class that accepts an image's input and returns a range of hex color values from the most vibrant color to the most muted color. There's even a Node.js version of the library if you prefer to do color extraction server-side. Tune your guitar with ES6 and Polymer. In this post, Paul Lewis explains how to combine ES6, Polymer, and the Web Audio API with features like Service Worker to create an offline-enabled app that's lightning fast and less than 50k. The article deep dives into audio processing, a bonus for you audiophiles out there, and there's also a companion piece on lazy loading Polymer elements. Users complete checkout forms up to 30% faster when they're correctly marked up with autocomplete attributes. Ido Green covers how Chrome 43 is expanding support for autofill attributes to include credit cards and addresses. The article details common autocomplete patterns and comes with a running demo so you can see it in action. That's it for this week, folks. Links to everything are down in the show notes. Click that little subscribe button. And to all you lazy webbers out there, thanks for watching.